We're strong people, but we're more strong when there's lots of us together like this. It's a crappy conversation, but hey, we're going to step right into it. We're going to start a conversation this summer. We are going to listen, we're going to gather data and more in order to answer a few simple questions. Do we need increased public toilets in our downtown? Where and why? Has uh, two washroom stalls, uh, one which is fully accessible and it includes some retail space uh, located at the front and staffed by those that are supported by Salom Mission. Participants from several of Siloam's programs will staff that kiosk. And this includes participants from our Most Employment program that you've heard a little bit about already, our Exit Up program for youth aging out of foster care, and certainly potential for others. The two attendants, which will be associated with the kiosk that Salome Mission has the attendance for, are there to support people knowing that they have a safe, a clean, a well-maintained washroom that is part of the public fabric of our city. This is the downtown of tomorrow. This is the da not the downtown of the 80s. This is the downtown where we're moving towards. We have record amount of residential growth going on downtown. We have good commercial activity going on downtown. And we are, we are committed to in the city of Winnipeg. And this is why this stuff like the pop-up toilets, they're so inclusionary for all. I hope this is the first of many collaborations where we can help to make downtown Winnipeg a really good place to be for all members of society.